Okay, you're studying magnetic fields produced by current carrying wires as one of the topics. And what we've done is we've created a homemade device to show how this actually operates and you can see the effects. What we started with was a piece of wire. This is a long strand of enamel coated uh, wire. And we took that wire and wrapped it into a whole bunch of loops, one continuous wire. It starts here with the wire going to there. It goes up and down and back up again on this side and down on that side. Finally, after many wraps, the last time we come down on this side, it goes out. And we've connected those two ends to alligator clips, which are wires connected back to a power supply. This is just a DC power supply because we need our current to flow one direction all the time. Uh, many are AC and DC combinations. We just care about the DC part. I'm not going to hook up to it until we want to see the effect. At the ends of this, we have to support it. So we have dowel rods, top and bottom, to hold it stretched out on a ring stand. The table, so that we can see what's happening, uh, we just took a, a clamp and clamped it fast to hold this piece of cardboard. We cut a slot in the cardboard so that, uh, something we're gonna show you in a couple minutes, we're gonna show you how when we turn on the current, these wires will be, will feel a force. And we wanna see the motion, the deflection of the wires themselves. What you see here is a little paper roller. So when we release the wires, they go to an undisturbed central position, which we call the starting position, and it'll be lined up with these green arrows. Now, in addition to what we've already shown, when we want to show the direction of the, of the fields, we have a bunch of little compasses. We have iron filings here. The iron filings are so that when we sprinkle them on the surface, they'll map out the lines, the magnetic field lines. When you wrap these coils, the wires will tend to have a, like a bad hair day. They sort of, sort of fray a little bit away from one another to keep them clustered so it looks like one piece of multi-strand wire. We took like painter's tape and put a little bit around each of them at the top and the bottom so that they look like two pieces of wire, not a whole bunch of pieces of wire.